insurance industry in India. We all know the Indian Insurance Companies Act was passed in 1928. This act empowered the government of India to gather necessary information about the life insurance and non-life insurance organizations operating in the Indian financial markets. In this lesson, we will study insurance products, Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, IRDA, the duties, powers and functions of IRDA and investment norms given by IRDA. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss the insurance products. Explain Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, IRDA. Describe insurance sector reforms. Discuss the IRDA and related acts. Explain the duties, powers and functions of IRDA. And discuss the investment norms given by IRDA and protection of the interest of policyholders. Commercial line of insurance includes insurance for businesses, professionals and commercial establishments. Fire policy specifically for tiny sector, burglary policy, cash policy, motor policy and other miscellaneous policies are also available to trader and general traders. Professional and specific professional or properties insurance include marine hull insurance, bankers indemnity insurance, stock exchange and brokers insurance, and LPG bottling plant and LPG dealers package insurance. Next is rural industries and rural prospects such as plantation insurance failed well insurance and PC culture insurance. Next is personal line of insurance. Insurance for individuals and families such as private passenger auto and homeowners insurance such as property insurance. Accident insurance such as personal accident insurance, Nardo Lahiri insurance and wedding bells insurance, health insurance such as Mediclaim Insurance, Jan Arogya Insurance, Overseas Mediclaim Insurance, Liability Insurance Policy such as Professional Indemnity Policy for different professions, Adhikari Suraksha Kavachan. The Indian insurance industry was under state control with no private participation till the late 1990s. It was virtually ruled by Life Insurance Corporation of India. LIC in the Life Insurance Market and the General Insurance Corporation of India, GIC and its four subsidiaries in the non-life insurance market. The idea that market dynamics should be the decisive factor in economic matters gained widespread acceptance. The growing negative perception towards government-controlled regimes gave rise to the liberalization of the economic policies of the country. After prolonged discussions and debates, the insurance sector was opened up in 1999 when the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority IRDA bill was passed. As per the bill, the IRDA became the regulatory authority for the insurance sector in India. It has the power to grant licenses to foreign players to operate in India and to formulate operational rules and regulations for the working of insurance companies. It became the regulator of insurance companies and monitored their business operations. IRDA also prepared the guidelines for foreign participation in the Indian insurance market. According to these guidelines, foreign players were initially permitted to enter India through partnership ventures with a partnership share of 26% or less in both the life and general insurance businesses. In 1993, Malhotra Committee, headed by former Finance Secretary and RBI Governor R. N. Malhotra was formed to evaluate the Indian insurance industry and recommend its future direction. The Malhotra Committee was set up with the objective of complementing the reforms 
already taking place in other parts of Indian insurance sector. The reforms were aimed at creating a more efficient and competitive financial system suitable for the requirements of the growing Indian economy. Government stake in the insurance companies to be brought down to 50% and government should remove the holdings of GIC and its subsidiaries so that these subsidiaries can act as independent general insurance corporations. Greater freedom of operation to all the insurance companies should be given. Private companies with a minimum paid up capital of rupees 1 billion should be allowed to enter the industry. No company should deal in both life and general insurance through a single entity. The Insurance Act should be changed. An insurance regulatory body should be set up. Mandatory investments of LIC's life fund in government securities to be reduced from 75% to 50%. LIC should pay interest on delays in payments of claims beyond 30 days. The Malotra Committee emphasized that in order to improve the customer services and increase the coverage of the insurance in Indian economy, the industry should be opened up to competition. The Act also established an authority named Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority, in short IRDA, to regulate, promote and ensure orderly growth of the insurance industry. The Act provided for replacement of the Office of Controller of Insurance under Insurance Act by IRDA and thereafter all the powers and functions of Controller of Insurance have been vested in IRDA. The IRDA Act also amended several provisions of Insurance Act 1938 in order to provide sufficient controls to the regulator that is IRDA in the liberalized setup. The insurance sector went through a full circle of phases from being unregulated to completely regulate and then currently being partly deregulated. It is governed by a number of acts, with the first one being the Insurance Act 1938. The Insurance Act 1938 was the first legislation governing all forms of insurance to provide strict state control over insurance business. Even though the first legislation was enacted in 1938, it was only on 19th January 1956 that life insurance in India was completely nationalized. Through a government ordinance, the Life Insurance Corporation Act 1956, effective from 1-9-1956, was enacted in the same year to inter alia form Life Insurance Corporation after nationalization of the 245 companies into one entity. The General Insurance Business Nationalization Act 1972 was enacted to nationalize the 100 odd general insurance companies and subsequently merging them into four companies. All the companies were amalgamated into National Insurance, New India Insurance, Oriental Insurance and United India Insurance which were headquartered in each of the four metropolitan cities. Section 14 of the IRDA Act 1999 lays down the duties, powers and functions of IRDA. Subject to the provisions of this Act and any other law for the time being in force, the authority shall have the duty to regulate, promote and ensure orderly growth of the insurance business and reinsurance business without prejudice to the generality of the provisions contained in subsection 1. The powers and functions of the authority shall include issue to the applicant a certificate of registration, renew, modify, withdraw, suspend or cancel such registration, protection of the interest of the policy holders in matters concerning assigning of policy, nomination by policy holders, insurable interest, Settlement of insurance claim, surrender value of policy and other terms and conditions of contracts of insurance, specifying requisite qualifications, code of conduct and practical training for intermediary or insurance intermediaries and agents, 
specifying the code of conduct for surveyors and loss assessors, promoting and regulating professional organizations connected with the insurance and reinsurance business, regulating investment of funds by insurance companies, regulating maintenance of margin of solvency, supervising the functioning of the tariff advisory committee, specifying the percentage of life insurance business and general insurance business to be undertaken by the insurer in the rural or social sector and exercising such other powers as may be prescribed. In practice, the regulatory framework and the opportunities of investment determine the overall asset allocation and portfolio composition of an insurance corporation. The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority have laid down the following pattern of investment of money received by the way of premium, so that public money is safeguarded by the insurance companies. IRDA norms in given table. IRDA has the responsibility of protecting the interest of insurance policyholders. Towards achieving this objective, the authority has taken the following steps. IRDA has notified Protection of Policyholders Interest Regulations 2001 to provide for policy proposal documents in easily understandable language, claims procedure in both life and non-life, setting up of grievance redressal machinery, speedy settlement of claims and policyholders servicing, the insurers are required to maintain solvency margins so that they are in a position to meet their obligations towards policyholders with regard to payment of claims. It is obligatory on the part of the insurance companies to disclose clearly the benefits, terms and conditions under the policy. The authority takes up with the insurers any complaint received from the policyholders in connection with services provided by them under the insurance contract. All insurers are required to set up proper grievance redress machinery in the head office and at their offices. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. The Malhotra committee emphasized that in order to improve the customer services, and increase the coverage of the insurance in Indian economy, the industry should be opened up to competition. Right or wrong? Right. The IRDA, while framing the regulations, is not required taking the prior approval of the government. Right or wrong? Right. The Insurance Act 1933 was the first legislation governing all forms of insurance to provide strict state control over insurance business right or wrong wrong before we end let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far commercial line of insurance includes insurance for business professionals and commercial establishments fire policy specifically for tiny sector burglary policy cash policy motor policy and other miscellaneous policies are also available to traders and general traders. The Indian insurance industry was under state control with no private participation till the late 1990s. It was virtually ruled by the Life Insurance Corporation of India LIC, in the life insurance market and the General Insurance Corporation of India GIC and its four subsidiaries in the non-life insurance market. The idea that market dynamics should be the decisive factor in economic matters gained widespread acceptance. IRDA became the regulatory authority for the insurance sector in India. In 1993, Malhotra Committee, headed by former Finance Secretary and RBI Governor, R. N. Malhotra. The Malhotra Committee was set up with the objective of complementing the reforms already taking place in other parts of Indian insurance sector. The reforms were aimed at creating a more efficient and competitive financial system suitable for the requirements of the growing Indian economy. The Act also established an authority named 
Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority, in short IRDA, to regulate, promote and ensure orderly growth of the insurance industry. The Act provided for replacement of the Office of Controller of Insurance under the Insurance Act by IRDA and thereafter all the powers and functions of Controller of Insurance have been vested in IRDA. The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority have laid down the patterns of investment of money received by the way of premiums so that public money is safeguarded by the insurance companies. The authority takes up with the insurers any complaint received from the policyholders in connection with services provided by them under the insurance contract. All insurers are required to set up proper grievance redress machinery in the head office and at their other offices.